Today, we will talk about the average collection period and how it works. The average collection period refers to the amount of time it takes for a business to receive payments from its clients in terms of accounts receivable. Companies use the average collection period to make sure they have enough cash on hand to meet their financial obligations. It's an indicator of the effectiveness of a firm's AR management practices and is essential for companies that rely heavily on receivables for their cash flows. Accounts receivable is the money entities owe to a company when they purchase goods and services. The average collection period is the average number of days between a credit sale date and the date when the purchaser remits payment. A lower average collection period is generally more favorable than a higher one. Businesses must be able to manage their average collection period to operate smoothly. The average collection period is calculated by dividing a company's average accounts receivable balance by its net credit sales for a specific period, then multiplying the quotient by 365 days. Alternatively, the average collection period is denoted as the number of days of a period divided by the receivable's turnover ratio. The average accounts receivable is calculated by taking the average of the beginning and ending balances of a given period. Be mindful of the seasonality of the accounts receivable balances when analyzing the average collection period. Net credit sales should exclude cash sales and any discounts, product recalls, returns, or items reissued under warranty. It's essential to evaluate the outstanding collection period to assess its impact on the organization's cash flows. Here are five key takeaways. 1. The average collection period refers to the length of time a business needs to collect its accounts receivables. 2. Companies calculate the average collection period to ensure they have enough cash on hand to meet their financial obligations. 3. The average collection period is determined by dividing the average AR balance by the total net credit sales and multiplying that figure by the number of days in the period. 4. This period indicates the effectiveness of a company's AR management practices. 5. A low average collection period indicates that an organization collects payments faster. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.